So today we're going to talk about surface area of triangular prism. So we already know how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. Now we're going to look at those with triangular bases. So prisms are all the same, that their lateral sides are rectangles, but then they just have different bases. So the rectangular prism has our rectangular bases, triangular prism has triangle bases. So since a triangle has three sides, we should have three lateral faces and then our two triangular bases. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to identify the three side lengths in my triangle. So these two sides are already identified, 6 and 8. This side right here doesn't have a measure, but it's just going to be the same as the one on the opposite side. So it's a 6, 8 by 10. Well, in a triangular prism, we have three lateral faces, and the base lengths of those are going to be the three side lengths. So our 6 by 8 by 10. Then we're looking for that 90 degree measure to show us where our perpendicular height is so that we can connect our bases. So the 6 and 8 are connected. So we either can connect it to the 6 with the height or connect it to the 8 with the height. I'm going to connect it right here, which means we have a base of 8, height of 6. It's going to be the same on the opposite side. Base of 8, height of 6. And then the last part is identifying the height or depth of the prism, which is the length connecting the two triangles to each other. In this case, it is 15. So, now we've got all of the measures on our triangular prism. We can find the surface area. So we can do here, 15 times 6 is 90. 15 times 8 is 120. 10 times 15 is 150. The area of our triangle, 8 times 6 divided by 2 is 24, and it's going to be the same on the top there. So now we're just going to add those all together. 150 plus 120 plus 90 plus 24 and 24 gives us a total surface area of 408 inches squared. The other thing that you can think about too if you realize it is you can actually look at this as one big rectangle that has a height of 15 and a base of 6 plus 8 plus 10, a base of 24. So you could do 24 times 15, get the entire area, and then add your bases, and you should get the same exact answer as well. All right, number two. Again, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify my three side links. So this length right here should be the same as that, so it's 6. This length right here should be the same as that, which is 9. And this length right here should be the same as down here, which is 12. So if I'm drawing out my net, it should be 6 by 9 by 12. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the height of the prism. So the measure that's connecting them, which is this measure here, which is 8. And then the last part is figuring out what our base and height of our um, triangular bases. So I'm looking for the 90 degree measure. This time we don't have a right triangle, so it's not two side lengths that are going to give us that. Um, it's a side length with a perpendicular height. So the side length it's connected to is the 6, and it's showing a height of 10. So now that we've got all that, we can find the area of each part. Here 6 by 8 is 48. 
8 by 9 is 72, 12 by 8 is 96. For this triangle, base times height divided by 2 is 30 for both of these. So if we add those all up, we get a total surface area of 276 meters squared. So again, you could look at this and say, I'm going to look at this whole entire rectangle that has a base of 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 12 is 27 times our height of 8. If we did 27 times 8, we'd get 216. And then you could look at your triangles. You're doing base times height divided by 2, and then you're multiplying by 2 because there's two of them. So you could just do 6 times 10, which is 60, which would give you the same area as 276. Go ahead and try the U-try on your own.